using list pages. The list page is made up of a number of key features. Here at the top we see the ribbon that lets us deal with a number of actions relating to the type of records we're looking at. So here I'm looking at the customers list page. This is displaying content from the customers table. I have a number of features underneath this ribbon. So for example on the right hand side I have the fact box pane. If I select one particular row, one record from the customers table, in this case Elkhorn Airport, on the right hand side the fax box will change to give me information about that customer. This is a handy reference to give me a quick overview of their information. So if I choose customer 20,000, Selangorian Limited, on the right hand side the fact box gives me specific information about that customer as an overview for quick reference. I can see that they have four orders and I can click the blue flow field to see those underlying four sales orders. Same with posted invoices or posted shipments. I can click any of those blue flow fields to see the underlying data. Underneath I can see their balance and other key financial information. Again with these flow fields if I click it it will reveal the underlying entries that make up in this case the balance figure. The list page also has a filter box or filter pane. So I can filter by any of the columns that I see across the top of the page. So for example, if I want to filter by location code and I just want to see the ones from the yellow location, I can do this. Apply the filter and now the records are filtered. I can clear my filter by doing Control and Shift and A or hitting the red cross or going to the drop down menu here and choosing clear filter. Any column currently visible can be applied in the filter pane as a quick filter here at the top of the page. Or, to get more filter options, I can reveal the advanced filter by clicking the down arrow. When working with the columns in a list page, it may be a good idea to personalise your settings slightly. For example, this is only showing a height of 1 in the column headings. However, if I right click and choose header height, set it to 3 and apply to all lists. Now every list page I go to will have more space to display the column headings and allow me to have narrower columns whilst also seeing more of the label and hopefully the information will make more sense at a quick glance. So this is more user friendly and usable. Than this, especially for some of the longer column headings. When working with a list page, each line is a record from the related table. So here, each one of these is a customer on our customers table. If I click once to select the record, then as I mentioned, the fact box shows me information about that company. However, I can also go to the ribbon at the top and choose edit or view to see the card page for that record. Each line here is greyed out because I'm in view mode here. I cannot edit these. If I wish to edit the details, I must change to edit mode, or when I first open the record, I can double click it to go straight into edit mode. These I can now change. So in the list page, one click will select a record, a double click will open it in edit mode or one click and then up to the ribbon to perform actions on this record. Once I have made changes to the layout of the customers list page, if I come off that page and then return to it, the system will remember my settings. So if I make some of the columns wider to make it easier to see all the text, if I come off the page and then return to it, it remembers my changes. If I visit a different list page, for example the items list page, here it is pulling each line, each record, from the items table. It has kept the same setting of three lines height for the column heading, and then again I can easily widen these to make it easier to see the full column title. Same will apply on the sales orders list page. All of these are list pages that give me access to records of a particular table, such as customers or items. 
which I can then drill down into to see more detail on the card page.